This video will cover how to run the example wrapper use case. Information about each use case in the MetPlus repository can be found in the user's guide under the MetPlus use cases section. The example wrapper does not run any of the MET applications, but it is a good starting point to understand how the other wrappers are used. It loops through each runtime, substituting values into the file name template, and logs the results. It allows you to adjust the configuration values to build the correct file paths without cluttering the log output with extra information. This video assumes that you have already installed the MET tools and configured the MetPlus wrappers correctly. If you are following the online tutorial, you have likely already set up the environment by sourcing the tutorial setup scripts. If not, and you haven't already created a user or tutorial configuration file, you will have to do so before running this example. This is the configuration user configuration file I am using on Docker to run this example. This file is provided with the tutorial and references environment variables to set the MetPlus variables. These are the values of those environment variables. Let's take a look at the example wrapper use case configuration file. It is found in the MetPlus repository under Parm use cases met tool wrapper example. The file name is example.conf. If you are unfamiliar with the time looping variables, please refer to the common config variables part one video. This use case is looping by valid time starting at February 1st, 2017 at 0z and ending on February 2nd at 0z, incrementing by six hours each time. For each valid time, four forecast leads will be processed, three hour, six hour, nine hour, and 12 hour. The example custom loop list is an optional list of strings that can be referenced in the file name templates using the custom template tag identifier. Each runtime defined by the time variables will be called once for each item in this list. This can be useful in certain use cases, such as processing a set of ensembles. If the custom loop list is left blank or not set at all, the custom template tag will be replaced with an empty string. The example input dir variable defines the directory where your imaginary data resides. Remember, file name template tags will not be handled properly if they are used in this variable. Finally, we have the example input template, which defines how our input files are named. This example uses init, lead, and custom. Let's run this use case. To run this use case, we will type master met plus passing in the example configuration file and also passing in our user configuration file or tutorial configuration file. A lot of text was output to the screen. Let's open up the log file and take a closer look at what happened. We recently added the log file name to the bottom of the screen output to make it easier to determine which log file to open. By default, the time timestamp is appended to the log file name for each run. I 
I'm going to copy this file path and open the log file. The first line of the log output is the command that was run. Here you can see that matplus was run for the valid time using this input directory and this input template. Each forecast lead in the lead sequence is processed for each custom string. Notice that first the custom string ext and the three hour forecast lead are substituted into this template. Then the custom string nc is substituted with the three hour forecast lead. You'll also notice that even though we are looping by valid time, the initialization time values were computed appropriately. Also notice here this forecast lead has always has three digits. That's because we put the three before the H here. After all of the forecast leads and custom strings were processed, the next valid time is processed in the same way. Now let's modify some of these settings. We recommend that you copy the use case config file in the MetPlus repository into your own directory instead of modifying them directly. I will, I will create a directory called user config under the MetPlus tutorial directory and copy the config file into it. I'm renaming the file exam example underscore tutorial dot conf so I remember what it contains. Now let's edit the new file. Now I'll just change a few values. I'll change the valid end time to the same value as valid begin so it only runs once. And I'll also change the lead sequence to have some different values. How about 1D and 2D for one day and two days. I don't want the custom loop list anymore, so I'll remove those values too. And change a new directory name. And finally, I'll modify this input template to a different string. I'll add hours to the init time. Let's make the forecast lead four digits of precision. Remove the custom tag. Let's add the valid time. Why not? The year, month, day, and hour. So we'll save this time and rerun it. So call mastermetplus.py dash c metplus tutorial dir user config example underscore tutorial dot conf and also remember to pass in your user config or tutorial config as well. Oh, looks like we got an error. Sometimes you can see the error in the screen output, sometimes you'll need to open up the log file to get more information. So here it looks like the 
there is an invalid time for the lead sequence. Can you spot what's what gone wrong? It should have been a lowercase d for day, not uppercase. So let's go back in the file. We'll change those values to lowercase d. And try one more time. All right, it says MetPlus is successfully finished. And you can see it only ran one valid time. New template, proce processing forecast lead one day. And you can see here the substituted values contain the init, lead, and valid times for each one day and two day forecast leads. Be sure to read through this section of the user's guide to learn more advanced topics using file name templates to find files to process.